dental abfraction. Look closely to her gums. What is abfraction? Abfraction is the loss of tooth structure where the tooth and gum come together. Look at the pointing area. You see how severe the gum recession is. The damage is usually wedge-shaped or V-shaped and is unrelated to cavities, bacteria, or infection. Abfraction is caused by stress and pressure applied to the teeth through biting, chewing, clenching the teeth, and most commonly, teeth grinding. These forces put great stress on the teeth near the gum line, where the enamel and cementum of the teeth meet. You might first become aware of abfraction when you get food stuck in the wedge or when you flash a big smile. You might even be able to feel it with your tongue. Abfraction is usually painless, but tooth sensitivity can become a problem, especially where heat and cold are concerned. What causes abfraction? Abfraction is caused by long-term stress on the teeth. This can happen in a variety of ways such as bruxing, also known as teeth grinding miscellent of the teeth, also called malocclusion mineral loss due to acidic or abrasive factors. Look at the areas which are marked. Gum recession and abfraction are completely visible. Receding gums are a condition in which your gums pull back from the tooth surface, exposing the root surfaces of your teeth. It's just one form of gum periodontal disease. This is a serious consequence of poor oral health, which may lead to tooth loss. There are a variety of treatments available. Depending on the severity of tissue loss, the earlier the diagnosis and treatment, the better the outcome. Receding gums may be caused by a number of factors, including aggressive brushing over the long term, smoking hormonal changes in women family history of gum disease diabetesive, and hardened plaque buildup tartar. Look at the area the damage is wedge-shaped or V-shaped and is unrelated to cavities, bacteria, or infection. Excessive tooth wear can be caused by abrasion, GERD gastroesophageal reflux disease, bruxism, clenching, acidic beverages and foods, and genetic factors. One, it's important to determine the causative factors when we see cratered or gauged out upper or lower incisal edges. One solution after dental abfraction is using partial dentures. Another treatment after losing the abfracted teeth is using dental implants for the missing teeth. This patient has edge-to-edge -edge front teeth and grinding which made his incisal surface of teeth wear off. 
We did an implant surgery for him to get him a new tooth. Now, this is a minor abfraction of front teeth, and it is preventable from major abfraction. Using night guard is an effective way to prevent abfraction. Using 3D scanning impressions we made the best fit night guard for her. Thanks for watching Dr. Massey Dental Clinic.